Welcome to Whiteboard Programming, where we simplify programming with easy to understand whiteboard videos. And today I'll be sharing with you what is deep learning. First off, have you ever wondered how Google Translator app is able to translate entire paragraphs from one language to another in a matter of milliseconds? Or how Netflix and YouTube are able to figure out our taste in movies or videos and provide us with perfect recommendations? Or how are even self-driving cars possible? Well, all of this is a product of deep learning. But wait, what is deep learning? Let me explain. Well, deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which on the other hand is a subset of artificial intelligence. As we know, artificial intelligence is a general term that refers to techniques that enable computers to mimic human behavior. Whereas machine learning represents a set of algorithms trained on data that make all of this possible and return an output based on series of input. And now, Deep learning is just a type of machine learning inspired by the structure of a human brain. That is, the algorithms in deep learning attempt to draw similar conclusions as a human would by constantly analyzing data with a given logical structure. To achieve this, deep learning uses multi-layered structure of algorithms called neural networks. Neural network is a different concept altogether and I've created a video to help you grasp the fundamental understanding of it, link of which is provided in the description below, so be sure to check it out. For this video, consider neural networks just as our brain similar to as we use our brain to identify patterns and classify different types of information neural networks can be taught to perform the same task on data whenever we receive new information the brain tries to compare it with the known objects the same concept is also there by deep neural networks next let's take an example of understanding how deep learning is different from machine learning suppose we want to build a machine that differentiates between a cat and a dog if we do it by machine learning, we then need to tell features based on which the two can be differentiated. These features can be the sound they make or the type of claws they have. But instead, with deep learning, these features are picked out by neural network without human intervention. So how does deep learning work? Let's try to understand how deep learning works by building a hypothetical airplane ticket price estimation tool. We will train it by using a supervised learning method and our price estimator will predict the price using the following inputs. Origin Airport, Destination Airport, Departure Date and Airline. So just as a recap, a neural network has three ingredients to it. First, the input layer which receives the input, which in our case is the four neurons in the input layer, origin airport, destination airport, departure date and airline. The input layer passes the inputs to first hidden layer in the network. The hidden layer is the one which performs mathematical computation on the inputs. One of the challenges in creating neural networks is deciding the number of hidden layers and also the number of neurons for each layer. We should remember that the term deep in deep learning refers to having more than one hidden layer in it. And lastly, the output layer returns the output data which in our case is the price prediction. But you must be wondering, how does it compute the price prediction? Well, each connection between neurons is associated with a weight and this weight dictates the importance of the input value. When predicting the price of an airplane, the departure date is one of the heavier factors than others. Hence, the departure date neuron connection will have a higher weight. Now, as a single neuron in human brain receives thousands of signals from other neurons, similarly, in an artificial neural network, signals travel between nodes and assigns corresponding weights to the next one. A heavier weighted node will exert more effect on the next layer of the nodes. In the end, the final layer compiles the weighted inputs to produce an output. Now, you might be thinking that deep learning can change the world, right? Well, it does has a vast scope but carries some limitation too. Like, number one, data. As training a deep learning model requires huge chunks of data set to make it decently accurate. Number two, computational power. Training a deep learning system requires a high amount of computation. That's why we generally employ using GPU or graphical processing unit which have more cores than CPU and also carries a higher cost. Number three, training time. Training an average deep learning system can take weeks or even months to process and perfect. The training time is usually dependent on the amount of data and the number of layers in the hidden network. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and served value. If you love my content, be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do as it keeps me motivated and helps me create more content like this for you. 